Um, over here, you know? What's your name? My name is Noah Campbell. Okay. And I live here in uh, beautiful Haliva town. Uh, well, actually, what's it called? Hawaii Alua. Haliva town came after. How did you become a male Ho'okani Pila? I kind of started when I was at a younger age. Or like when I was like six, seven years old. So, uh, one day I just, uh, I came home from school one day and um, my dad was, was home at the time and then uh, I heard him play uh, a certain slacky song. I kind of like opened the door and I was like, mm. oh, what's that? my bag down just kind of walked by my dad in front of my dad and just kind of sat down you know in front of him and it was like oh, I want to learn how to do that and then he was I'm like okay this is what you do Oloi you have to listen okay. do not speak you close your mouth do not interrupt and just pay attention listen show you one time so I think I he got me hooked on music and even more so to um, as like our family gatherings um, my dad would play and my uncles would play and they would all get together at family dinners and we would just have a good they would have a good time I wanted to be part of that but yeah the music is to me is everything I love music. I love all kinds of music. And then you said that your makuokane, your dad, was a mehokane pila uh, musician. And then your anakala, or your anakala. So, see, it's an ohana thing, not a family thing. Music is like a different language, and when you play with other people, it's like a conversation without words. Yeah, no, so my dad taught me the basics. He taught me just the basics, and I started to listen more to, like, uh, Leopard Kaapana. Yeah. yeah, he was one. Of, he's still my idol. Uh, the biggest idol was uh, Gabby Pahinui. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he, he was. Um, yeah, really awesome musicians. And uh, Peter Moon, Peter Moon, uh, he was a really good musician too, and a good slacky player. And he just in Hala, just he in did. pass. He yeah. did pass. Yeah, mm -hmm. he did pass. Yeah, man. And, you know, thanks for him, you know, he, he gave us all kinds of music. Mm -hmm. you know? So for the people that maybe don't know the difference between Ho'okani Kika or playing the guitar and then Ho'okani um, Kiho'alu, Slaki, what is that? What is Slaki? Basically, you just, um, you're slacking the keys to an open tuning. Oh, I see. And, yeah, it was basically kind of like designed for the, um, the Hawaiian people um, at that time to match their voice. Wow. Yeah, it was to match their voice. So, I mean, generally nowadays everybody knows the taro patch. That's the open G, which is D, G, D, G, D, D. Sometimes it could be way lower too, and it was to match their voices. I love music. That's and it's. Uh, I, mean, I, I love my wife and I love my kids. Yeah. But I, I've had music has been with me for. Uh, I've been playing for 30 years now. Okay. I'm 37. So basically, my whole life revolved around music. Okay. And secretly, I love a good symphony. You also play for hire. If I'm playing solo, I can. Uh, I'll just do what I know best and what I'm, what I'm, is that? I'm, old, I'm good with and that's pretty much just slacky. If I'm accompanying somebody, um, it would be more contemporary music, like throw a little country in there. You know, growing up in the islands, you know, you get mixed up with different music styles, like, okay. like uh, we're popular and reggae. Yeah. Uh, and then you got country and then, you know, you just have like a, like the Brothers Cat style. When you out for sure, what is like the first song that you would always do? One song would be uh, Kamakani Ka'ili Aloha and uh, Koke'e. Uh, I like to do Ilave. Another one is kind of like um, like a blend between three songs. 
Moana chimes. Ule ava puhi mele mele, my yellow ginger ale. A radio hula. So those three songs was put together by my favorite guitar player, it was uh, Mother Kyle Bonner. Um, that's a pretty cool mele, I like that. Right. So since you said he ilave, mm -hmm. I, I'm very partial to Moko Kiave, Big Island, because that's where I'm from.